thousand sheep going out to pasture. How's it going folks? Craig Udelman here again. Gonna teach you another old time fiddle tune. This one's called Hogs and Sheep Going Out to Pasture from the playing of Doc Roberts in the key of G. I'll play it for you and then uh, I'll show you what's going on. Pretty little tune in it. Simple, but enjoyable. So uh, let's get right into it. Starting on that third finger on the A string. And you can put a little pickup on there. So we get. gets a little tricky. You have a lot of these a lot of these turns in your wrist, so really make sure you're keeping your wrist loose there. Um, and so again this then we get a little pull off. And a few options on bowing, but that's probably the, the best way to start. that becomes and the, the, really the most important thing here is this when I hit that D string I'm just throwing my hand up like that so my hand goes above my wrist then back down back up and back down for there so So from the beginning that becomes and just that last little bit and you got the whole A part. 
so. I like to just kind of touch the G, str D string. Little turn. Just touching that second finger. And then slur and hit the G drum. So that's the second half of that. Let's play that whole A section a couple times. Come on. different bowing for you. All right, so now just the B section and you got the tune. A um, few more notes in the B section, but it's not too bad. Uh, starts like this. And I'll play the whole thing and then we'll break it down. Do that in pieces. I, mean, I like that bowing quite a bit. Slur, separate, slur. With that nice wrist, you get a little skip in there. And then here. Uh, you have a couple bowing options. Uh, let's do that. So. And there uh, you can play, uh, or, or both sound good. Let's go up for now, so we lead towards the note. One last time. So I'm doing a little hammer on from the third to the fourth while playing the E string. You could easily also just go and slide the fourth or just play the open E. All good options. So let's go back to the beginning of the B section. that down and then and we're back to the beginning and you know so I'm keeping the third finger down there together you get these nice da ba ya ba da ba ya ba
nice, nice way of Boeing to connect those things there and slurring kind of over the bar line. So once again, that, that whole second section. If you notice there, uh, the first time I went, starting from the E string, and the second time I go, from the, from the third finger. And you can either do one of those the whole time or the other one, or change it up like I do. It's all good. Um, is there anything else here? Let me, let's play that again. Yeah, that, so. Notice I'm slurring from on the down bow. You could go. But it doesn't connect the phrase as well, so I really like to do that. Do often change the bow in like that. Slur all three. Separate, slur, and then separate those to get back. So it's just changing the bowing a little bit to give you different phrasing. The first time, da pia, da pia, and the second time, di um, da da. So just, just bringing out the rhythm a little bit. And that's most of what I do to this tune. It's really just a simple tune that's, that's pretty. Uh, so let's try and play the whole thing at a, at a moderate tempo. If you want to throw a couple variations, uh, you can just do a few little things to give it a bit of extra spice. Uh, just make that a bit simpler. Right, so just taking out a couple notes sometimes and giving a bit of space can really bring out the phrase. Uh, There's another one instead of B. So I'll do that again. Again. Simple rhythmic variations. So throw in just occasionally and keep it keep it alive. 
And let's see, the B part. Right, you can throw that slide in. Throw some downward slides. Doc Roberts doesn't do quite so much of that. He's got a nice clean kind of style, but if you want to play with it and make it your own, that's definitely an option. Um, another place to add some rhythm. Just throw a couple little eighth notes on that. Playing around with it, and um, and that little turn on the on the, the F sharp on that first finger. You can even keep going with it if you want to get a little more more old school, more Irish feeling. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I'll play it for you one time and try and throw some of those variations in and see see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 